Okay. Thing on, okay. Literally gonna do... What's up, guys? It's me, Mako, again. Um, in the previous video... Uh, well, basically using my glasses again because I actually need them this time, so yeah. Okay, anyway. What's up, guys? Um, Mako here. I just like to... First of all, explain why I deleted the previous video and why I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> well, one, because I'm lazy as fuck. Secondly, I have a reason for that. So the reason why I deleted the previous video is because um, I just felt embarrassed, you know? I was actually kind of scared that my friend would find out. I mean, as far as I know, I don't think she has a YouTube channel. But I didn't really want to tell her from the start. And so that's why um, I decided to delete it. Because I didn't want her to find out. And then it causes a huge drama. So right now I'm going to do a different type of video. Where I explain my feelings. And sort of um like my attractions um this one is gonna be like this one is gonna list like some of my personal stuff and also um some of my like uh attractions i've had and my personal feelings that i've never really um i've never really told people before and so luckily i mean well I get to explain them for the first time so that I can at least get them out somehow. And so yeah, first of all, I'll begin. So um so first of all, it begins with me and what I grew up with. So basically, um I've always been romantic as a kid. Well, as I grew up, I always tend to, um, whenever I had friends of any sort, I would fall in love with them pretty easily. It's really hard. It's like a weakness for me. That's why I was, with certain types of friends, it depends, but certain types of friends, I would sometimes have romantic feelings for them, and sometimes out of nowhere... Um, I just, like, try to, um, try to, like, I try to at least say I have a crush or whatever. So basically, um, what happened was, back, I, I, I don't know why I have these feelings, and to be honest, I really, I don't know why, and I do want to learn how to control them in the future, because I don't want any um, drama and any um, and to unintentionally cause any sort of disturbance with people. This is obviously um, what I've been dealing with my entire life, and it's nothing bad, I would say, but it's just really embarrassing. And I'm pretty sure it will be um, embarrassing for uh, different people, I guess. So, um, I'm just gonna admit to you guys, um, my, uh, the stuff that I've been going through my entire life and, uh, just basically say what, um, like what's, like why I have these, um, why I have these, uh, feelings, I think. I have, um, high functioning autism that... I've been diagnosed since I was three, I think. Um, I was diagnosed with um, high functioning autism and um, it's always been a struggle for me, not only um, socially because, and it still is a big problem for me, but when I grew up, I was always like really shy, you know, I, um, couldn't go out. It was hard for me to go out in public because of, of just feeling awkward and stuff. I 
didn't really have a good experience. And as far as I remembered, I would all, when I was in fourth grade, my teacher, I was so bad in school. I just sucked at it in elementary school, but mostly fourth grade. Now my teacher really, that really told me you'll never like, you're so dumb. You'll never learn. That's what she literally said to me. You're so dumb. You'll never learn. It's like, and it hurt me as a kid because it's like, um, because that's what I always thought about myself. Like, oh, I'm just a dumbass person that will like never learn, you know? And so that's why um, my relationships with people have always been really different for me. I would say um, whenever I made any guy or girlfriends, like any guy or girlfriends, I would just sometimes depends but I would just have kind of like these romantic relationships and so far that's kind of what's going on with my current friend um which is uh which I want to control myself over because as soon as I have romantic feelings about myself I tend to get um crazy you know like I get uh I don't start acting like my usual self like I start uh I start being crazy and stuff and so that's why I kind of want to control these feelings because um I don't want I don't want anyone I don't want to cause drama and I don't want our friendship especially if I had a really close friend to just go away because I'm really I I'm gonna like I'm a grown-ass person now, and it still happens to me. I need to stop that, and it's just really hard, you know? Um, I just, it's just really hard for me, and I wish, and I really wish I can control that. And mostly, I just want to say this to my friend, because, of course, me and my friend, we don't have a really big age difference, like, we're only three years old. We, she's only three years older than me anyway, so, um, and we've been meeting for four years or something, so, I don't want, me and my friend, I don't really want our relationship to go away, to fall, I want to keep this relationship, and I don't, and I don't want her to feel awkward, I literally told, I literally confessed my feelings to her, and she was fine with it, but she still said, I like you as a friend, which is fine. But I still felt awkward to begin with because it's like, oh, maybe she's just lying. Maybe she's just lying to me, but she actually feels like that. Maybe she's actually feeling awkward and I'm not uh, really um, thinking that way. So I would really like to control that with all of my friends and the newer friends that I will eventually have, you know. I don't want... I don't want to cause any drama. I don't want any of this to happen. I've had a couple of guys that just, you know, reject me because they would accidentally say that. And it's just bad. It's... My autism really um, controls me. And, and I don't want it to affect me as much anymore, nor my friendships. It's really hard for me making friendships with people, nor less. Um, romantic ones so um, yeah so far like I've had a lot of you know for, I have a lot of fictional crushes and I guess I'll just stick with them because you know at least they don't like really um, reject you or anything so I just stick with all my anime crushes for now it's so hard to have to fall in love with the real person. And I can say that from my own perspective because people oftentimes judge you and probably just um, reject you and say, uh, and just, and you being awkward. So I don't want, so I, I really don't want these types of relationships to happen to me in the past, sooner or later. That's why I'm just making this types of video to sort of clarify and um, 
to and for my friend or any of my other friends in the future to like not um not be like basically i just don't want any drama in the future i want i really want friends and i don't want them to leave me because i've had other friends that just leaves me because i find out that they're a pieces of shit and I don't want the same thing with my other friends. So I'm trying to control these feelings no matter what. And um, so yeah, I'm just going to make this short video just to clarify and kind of get these feelings out. Um, uh, in the future, maybe perhaps I'll make more of these videos soon. And so yeah, see ya.